Welcome back. This is Aman from Aman Driving School. Uh, today in this video, I am trying to explain uh, what is going to happen in Vikroth's driving test. Okay. So, how to get prepared for your Vikroth driving test? Now, there are some small tips and tricks. Uh, if you follow these tips and tricks, hopefully you will pass your driving test in your first go. Okay. Now, the biggest enemy of your test is your nervousness. Now, once you get nervous, you tend, you are most likely to tend to forget the things. So, first and foremost thing is try to control your nervousness. Now, there are some tips you can uh, search on YouTube how to reduce your nervousness. Uh, but I would suggest you, if you keep your mind and stomach light, that is a good tip and uh, that is a good trick to control your nervousness. So don't take too much of stress. Don't take too much of stress about your work or studies or whatever assignments and all. Uh, try to put all other stress aside and focus on your driving test. And keep your stomach also light. So don't take too much of heavy food or junk food or spicy food. Uh, just keep your stomach light and come to your test. Now before coming to the test, be careful with your documents. So check your documents and your documents uh, what is required is your address proof and if you are an overseas uh, uh, overseas uh, student or something try to bring your passport original with you and uh, try to come if you have overseas license try to come with your overseas license original and uh, if you are an Australian try to come with your learner's permit and make sure your hazard prescription test and is with you and check its expiry date so hazard prescription test usually expires in 12 months so check its expiry date before coming to the Vikroth's test and uh, other things like your vaccination certificates and uh, uh, if you if you are required to do 120 hours then uh, uh, make sure you have the proof of 120 hours including 20 hours of uh, night driving so come ready with your documents okay and uh, before entering uh, before entering the Vikroth's office on the day of your test make sure you adjust your seats according to your sitting arrangements not according to the instructor sitting arrangements so that seat is very well adjusted according to your sitting arrangements and make sure your mirrors are also adjusted so uh, so everything is adjusted before you walk into the Vikroth's now when you enter the Vikroth's you you will see the license testing officer there and license testing officer after checking your documents he will check uh, he will try to explain what is going to happen in the uh, Vikros driving test and uh, then he will say go and sit in your car and I will come and see you in your car so straight away walk towards your car okay put your seat belt on okay and uh, make your car on in the ignition position and bring your window mirrors down okay so the window mirrors should be down so that uh, the officer when he is talking to you you can hear whatever he is giving you instruction from the outside of the car because he will be giving instructions regarding your pre-drive check from the outside of the car so pre-drive check is the very first part of the test so in this test uh, in this uh, check pre-drive check the license testing officer will check how good are you with the car controls so he will ask you to signal left signal right put on your hazard lights show me the water and wipers okay so all these other car controls you can check my pre-drive check video uh, you know pre-drive check uh, Vic Roads video you can have a have a look in there for the details okay now once you pass your pre-drive check now remember if you are if you're not able to pass your pre-drive check you will not really start your driving test so you have to start pass your pre-drive check so once you pass your pre-drive check you will enter the stage one now the stage one is uh, the point uh, from the it starts with the point when you come out of the big roads car park okay so make sure your handbrake is down okay you signal properly you check your mirrors and everything and then you come out of the Vikroth's car park most of them they fail straight away in the Vikroth's car park 
because in their nervousness they either put they forget to put their handbrake down or you know they don't start the car properly and they straight away take it to drive and they try to start the car when the car is in the drive position so if you check my video pre drive check i will i have explained the, those things in detail now in the stage 1 uh, the license testing officer have to do minimum of five task okay the number of task can be go up till the seven now what is a task now every instruction from the license testing officer is a task now every task has got a scoring now what is the scores for each task they they may you may get scored for your signaling for checking your mirrors checking your surroundings okay and uh, checking your speed that is your speed choice okay and uh, what about the gap selections you know so how 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 are you maintaining the safe gap with the vehicles in front of you and they may be scoring for your lateral position now you know how 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 is the position of your car while it is moving okay so there are small small scorings for each task so in the stage 1 the officer has to do minimum of five task now in those five task one will be either three point turn or reverse parallel parking so either you may be asked to do three point turn or reverse parallel parking okay so in the stage 1 the student or the learner is allowed to do only one critical error okay now the second critical error in the stage 1 will fail his test so he is just allowed to do one critical error okay now what is the critical error now critical error can be if the learner is going too slow might be a critical error if the if the learner fails to look you know if he it was a give a sign and he did not have a proper look then it can be a critical error if the learner fails to signal you know, this happens usually when you are coming out of the parking try to signal okay uh, and if he blocks the pedestrian walkway or the cyclist lane okay and if he hit the curb can be a critical error and if he fails to stop completely at the stop sign so this can be a critical error now if these critical errors can turn into immediate terminal terminating error now what is immediate terminating error immediate terminating error if it occurs in the test the learner cannot continue his test now the officer might request him to pull over and the seat have to be swapped with the instructor so that means he can't continue his test if even if there is one immediate terminating error happens so if the critical error becomes a source or means of or becoming taking a risk of an accident then it can be an immediate terminating error so you panic some other road users okay so it becomes an immediate terminating error so even if the inst instructor intervenes like he catch holds of the steering or he press the accelerator and brake from his side so that becomes an immediate terminating error okay and uh, if there was a risk of collision involved in the drive then it becomes the immediate terminating error and uh, if if he fails to give way to some uh, road users imagine there was a stop sign and there was a bus coming from the right side and he is turning left and he did not give way to that bus so it can be an immediate terminating error okay and if he was over speeding they give you only 3 seconds to rectify your speed okay so if it is a 60 zone and the learner is uh, driving at 61 62 and uh, and uh, if it continues for the 4 5 seconds then it's an immediate fail okay so if the learner is stopping at the danger zone okay in a, where he is not supposed to stop then it can be an immediate terminating error and if any way he caused the danger to any other road users or he panicked any other road users it can be a pedestrian cyclist any car bike or whatever it can be an immediate terminating error okay so if the if the learner passes the stage 1 okay then the officer will say pull over to the curb and once the learner pull over to the curb the officer counts the score if he feels that he has passed the stage 1 successfully then he will take him to the stage 2 now stage 2 is little bit busier a little bit more challenging than the stage 1 
okay so the minimum task that is required to be done in stage two is a couple of lane changes and at least one straight drive so by by the time he reached the stage two the minimum number of tasks he has to fulfill to make his test uh, uh, the minimum number of tasks is 17 okay so the minimum task in the stage one will be five the minimum number of tasks in the stage two will be 17. now once he enters the stage two uh, he, can, he is allowed to make uh, two critical errors including the critical errors of stage one so the third critical error in the stage two may result failure in his test okay and again even if one immediate terminating error happens so it's an immediate fail so so my dear students and friends so drive carefully and uh, drive with the presence of mind now what is the presence of mind now do, while you are driving now the instructor if you, if you are driving in with the instructor car so the instructor is sitting quite there and there will be instructions coming from behind you so when you are driving don't think of anything else just focus where you are now what is the focus where you should be focusing as soon as, as soon as you enter any new street try to read the signboards there is a silent instruction given in the signboards especially when whenever you enter any new street uh, the first signboard will be the signboard of the speed limit the speed limit try to see the speed limit of the what is the maximum speed allowed in the street there may be any there may be much more information in your signboards like it's telling how many uh, it might be giving you information about the children's crossing elderly crossing or uh, you know uh, number of speed harms or you know sharp bend sharp right or you know recommended speeds there's a lot of silent instructions given in your signboards itself after giving the complete study of the signboards then check the lanes what is the uh, what is the message given in the lanes is it a single solid line double solid line dotted lines is there a bike line is there a bus lane you know uh, keep studying about the lanes and then frequently keep checking your mirrors be aware of your surroundings the center mirror is very important every five seconds try to give a glance on your center mirror okay and uh, um, even your speed so check your signboards check your lanes check your mirrors and keep checking your speed so this is called the presence of mind when you are driving so that is what the be alerts you know try to be alert always and have a safe gap so there are different things so be with the presence of mind don't think anything else while you are driving focus you know whenever you are approaching any instruction try to read the lanes you know which lane is turning right which lane is turning left which lane is going straight and right which lane is going straight and left you know there may be two lanes turning right there may be two lanes turning left so whenever you approach the inter uh, intersection read the lanes okay and whenever you enter any new street read the signboards so there are uh, there's a silent instructions given in this signboards and lanes okay and then imp implement whatever instruction you are getting you know uh, in a safest and you know uh, safest manner okay don't try to panic uh, what what increases your panic don't think of the result and don't think about the past also even if you do any mistakes it have uh, by mistake you have done any mistake don't try to keep thinking why did i do that mistake you know just focus on presence focus on presence of of the situation in which situation you are where are you going what is the instruction you know if you keep focusing you know you will you will, uh, the, uh, that will increase the chances of passing your test hopefully uh, this video has helped you a lot um, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, leave a comment and uh, i will try to make more and more videos to help you guys to uh, pass in your driving test okay Thank you very much.